Guys, so in today's economy, uh, in today's America, things are getting super expensive. And I don't really know how anyone's actually going to be surviving, to be honest with you, because you have inflation rates right now not being officially recorded um, as high as it really is. Then you have interest rates um, stagnant, borderline about to go up. There's a lot of factors in the economy that are, that are putting us in a situation where I think the U.S. economy is going to be going into a recession, if not already in recession, and will be going into, if not a great recession, a depression. And why do I say that? Because um, a lot of people, liquidity is tightening up in the economy right now. And so a lot of people are being affected uh, with liquidity and a lot of people are having hard right now uh, people are being laid off with jobs right now as well and you have a lot of people that are being essentially uh priced out of the housing market as well um so a lot of things are being affected in the economy right now and the government is not admitting anything of the such they're saying that we are a strong economy but we all know I'm sure you know and I know and everyone watching knows that the economy is not doing so good right now a lot of people are they're they're having it hard right now you know and uh, it's you know it's common knowledge that the unemployment rate is not real um, a lot of people are unemployed and have been unemployed because if you've essentially not been looking for work for, you know, uh, six months or longer, then they take you off the unemployment report. So there's a lot of skewing factors with the unemployment report. There's a lot of skewing factors with the inflation report because they decide they want to take out housing and food off the inflation report. There's a lot of other factors that are affecting the economy right now. There's major wars going on around the world as well uh, that are definitely going to be throwing off, uh, you know, the real inflation report because they're going to guess what? They're going to continue to print more money, guys. They're going to continue to print more money to essentially float this this empire that we have, and the empire uh, is not being ran by our tax dollars, by the way. The empire is being ran by more infinite printing of dollars, which is going to continue to make homes, gold, silver, uh, you know, real assets, continue to go up in value. Or I guess you would say inflate in value because they're not really going up in value. It's just the dollar is actually losing value. Uh, so you have that going on right now in the economy as well. And it's not going to stop. They printed like 40% of all U.S. dollars in circulation in the last two years. So the real inflation actually hasn't, hasn't really appeared yet. The real inflation is actually on its way. The U.S. Uh, uh, government and the Fed are trying to buy more time and trying to prepare themselves. But inflation is actually not going to go away it's actually here to stay and it's going to continue to be a problem for most americans uh whether you have a lot of money or some money uh or no money uh inflation is going to affect everybody in some shape form or fashion so it's just a matter of how can you deal with it how can you cope with it how are you going to survive in a high uh inflationary environment going forward so I like to hope and think that a lot of people can prepare themselves, but right now liquidity is drying up and inflation is starting to creep up. So where is that going to lead us in the economy? Where is that going to push America and the rest of the world? You know, if America is being affected, how do you think the rest of the world is being affected right now? The rest of the world is being affected tremendously as well. So it's definitely uh, an interesting time that we live in for sure. Um, you have a lot of bubbles in the economy right now that are uh essentially you know blowing up even more uh so 
it's going to be an interesting times for sure over the next couple of years to see how everything's going to transpire. But how can you prepare yourself? Well, you need to buy real assets and you need to start thinking of other ways to start businesses and you need to start getting in shape as well and start planning for an inflationary environment and prepare yourself, develop a savings. Six months, 12 months will be ideal and uh, get ready because this is a roller coaster ride that we're about to be on. So if you guys like what I'm talking about and are interested in learning more, give me a follow, give me a like, give me a share. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.